Hey, and welcome to the show. I'm the Crypto Kid, and in these videos, we take a look at Bitcoin and everything else that's going on in the world of cryptocurrencies. So if you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button because we're making daily videos to keep you informed of what's going on in the world of blockchain technology. So let's jump right in and see what's happening with Bitcoin this morning. And as you can see, Bitcoin has been climbing up and up this morning, but we're still trying to break through from that 65 6600 mark and as you see that ceiling is pretty strong so let's tap out into that 12 hour and you can see we haven't been able to break through that 6600 and i think it has a lot to do with what's happening over on the other side of the coin here with bitcoin cash because they've been holding strong bitcoin cash had a successful fork yesterday at around 2 p.m and we immediately saw some incredible noise over on the coin wars website here with the number one coin uh, for profits going to bitcoin cash now we have sank down to a lower number here and i can assume that has to do with the hash power and other factors that are contributing to that but as that fork takes in and kicks in we're going to see some um, some of these new software um, benefits come into play now that is the daa as we and now adjusting automatically for the difficulty. And that's one of the main factors that we're gonna see coming out of the Bitcoin Cash Camp, um, where we're gonna adjust automatically for the difficulty rate, which is gonna to appeal to both um, uh, Bitcoin Cash holders as well as those mining the coin, because as the price of Bitcoin Cash increases, so will the mining profitability, and it will just kind of snowball effect. So as you can see, we're sitting around 20% in terms of what the cashing is saying, and I'll continue to follow this because, as you know, I am a massive supporter in Bitcoin Cash, and why wouldn't I be? Because of the amazing uh, potential that it does hold. And as you can see here, we are sitting around 11% gains in the last 24 hours. And that is great to see. Hopefully, we will continue to see Bitcoin Cash with a slow, sustainable growth over the next couple weeks and taking us further into the future so we can all profit from this Bitcoin Cash um, explosion that is happening as well as the rest of the world, hopefully integrating into the market. So we'll have to wait and see. Now let's move on to other coins because there's a lot of other projects happening in the world of cryptocurrency and a lot of really exciting projects as well. One of those for me is Omise Go. Now if you heard of Omise Go, it's a pretty interesting project and not only that, but they're working with some existing projects as well. Now it starts with the Ethereum camp. So let's start off there with Ethereum ourselves. Now Ethereum just went through a hard fork called the Metropolis Hard Fork. Now that was planned. Um, it was actually Vitalak Buterin's way of basically blowing up the blockchain within two and a half years um, when it was originally initiated, just to ensure that these types of issues were dealt with because they had to be dealt with or the whole platform would literally implode on itself. Now with that, um, Vitalak introduced a few projects to the Ethereum platform and blockchain. And a few of those um, were the ZK Snarks and Casper. Now, what is that? Well, basically, ZK Snark is a way to increase privacy within Ethereum. So, he, D Vitalak describes it as a super protocol. So, what do I mean by that? Well, basically, what it means is that he's going to allow for improved privacy within Ethereum. Um, and it's, now, what it's going to do is it's going to allow the sender and receiver of these contracts to um, work together and interact together without exposing any data, adding another layer of privacy. So this will allow the sender and the receiver um, to prove things without about the encrypted data without revealing anything about the data itself. So basically what it means is that it's going to become more private because only the seller and the receiver are working together and it's going to work through this program called Casper which is a method of proof of stake as opposed to proof of work. And the main benefit here is it's going to allow for uh, a better protection against, say, attackers and really wealthy attackers with expensive new equipment attacking relentlessly uh, with no end. That will end because Casper is not confined to cryptocurrency. It's right across the board. So allowing for that interaction between the seller and the receiver is really going to be a positive way to increase privacy. Now, the cool thing about this is it's not just um, confined to cryptocurrencies. And that's where Omise Go, Omise Go comes in. Now, Omise Go, 
again, is built on the existing platform of Omise, which is a payment system based on the other side of the world here. And it is, it's not only is it a current um, program that's actually working right now, but it's, it's planned to grow and enhance. So basically what the main cases for Omise go are remittances, loyalty points, mobile banking, asset tracking, digital gift cards, as well as tokenized fiat. Now, the cool thing about this is that, again, it's not confined to cryptocurrencies. So once you integrate the ZK Snark, this, that super protocol, as well as Casper, you're not just working with, say, tokens here or, or cryptocurrencies. You're working with as digital assets. So just for a, uh, for a moment, just picture Omise Go integrating the Atlant token. And here's some of the team here, a majority of them from uh, Ethereum, including Vitalik Buterin. Now, just imagine that the tokens, um, you know, aren't just money based, they're assets. So you could hop on your phone, not have to have a bank account. You could immediately transfer some tokens in, convert them, say, to the Atlant token. And now immediately you're you're trading real estate tokens on your phone with a secure P2P platform that can work anywhere in the world. And that's what really appeals to me about Omise Go is that they're an existing market working with the existing platform of Omise and they're going to integrate the Omise Go platform. Now, how can people get profit off of this just by holding the tokens? Well, the thing is, is the profit generation comes from holding the OMG tokens themselves. So this means that um, the tokens will be used to validate that proof of stake that I was discussing earlier. And that's how the token holders will get rewards. So the more transactions that happen, the more transactions that happen when we say go, that means the more rewards go to the token holders. So the more this platform is used, uh, the more that the token holders are going to benefit from this. So it's a pretty interesting um, project and the price to me sounds right. We had some pretty impressive gains here back in September and because of that whole hard fork as the money pulled out of um, different altcoins and went into Bitcoin, you kind of saw that being pulled out of the entire market, including Omise Go. And fortunately for us or any potential investors, it hasn't really swung back yet. And again, I'm just going to tap back into the roadmap here. So if you click on that roadmap, you'll see somewhere down in the bottom here, you'll notice that they are looking for a 2018 kickoff for Q1. Now that is pretty exciting because that means that we'll be looking to start right off into the new year with other important platforms that are coming out as well, which gives us a bit of time to look into the program and platform, see if it's something that works for you. Now I'll leave a link to this uh, in the bottom here, the description, because this really gives you an idea of the roadmap and what's to come. Now they did base this off a game, a uh, Chinese game that was invented 2,500 years ago. And it's really cool that they're sticking with some traditions um, within the culture over there. And it's, I tell you, there's some really cool stuff coming out of this camp and they're really embedded into the culture and the, um, the different countries that are using these platforms. And I really feel that it's going to be embraced by the cultures out there as a payment system. So something to keep an, an eye on. So I will continue to monitor that as well. And we will look into other um, cryptocurrencies. Now, Ethereum is going to go hand in hand with a lot of, of different projects because it uses that ERC token and a lot of different ICOs are asking for Ethereum. Now, whether that means the price is going to want to be maintained lower, that has yet to be determined. But but connecting platforms and, and coins like Omise Go um, are something to keep in mind because when they work with Ethereum and the Omise Go platform, that's going to work together and it's going to kind of um, create an umbrella effect that will help all of these coins together. Now, you will start seeing, in my opinion, a lot of these coins are going up. So with the fork and the drama being over, a lot of the money is coming out of these coins and back into the altcoin scene. So it's a good time to get back into these coins um, more sooner than later, I would assume if it's something that you are familiar with. Now, Steam is something else that I worked with because I do have an account with Steam, um, but I am slowly getting more involved with the site yours because they work with a wide variety of tokens and they allow you to cash in and trade with, say, Bitcoin Cash, which to me is really appealing. And I'll be also talking about different programs and merchants that work with Bitcoin Cash too, because I feel that is going to be another opportunity to invest in massively, assuming that the plans are on track for Bitcoin Cash to continue being more profitable for miners 
and the cashing, flipping, whatever you want to call it, does enhance and continue to move forward. But for now, we'll have to keep an eye on the Bitcoin cash price because the validity is not over yet. We are still watching people move their money out of BTC into Bitcoin Cash, and I will continue to monitor that because as the network continues to be crippled and companies such as Jax and Shapeshift have to give out um, different uh, information daily. I don't know if you saw that yesterday coming out of the Bitcoin camp that they could not even keep up and basically their system was, was crippled. Uh, that's something to keep in mind because that is not Jax, that is not Shapeshift, that is simply the Bitcoin core team not moving forward, not being able to allow transfers to happen on the system. So something that we're going to have to pay close attention to because Bitcoin Cash clearly doesn't have those issues. So again, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and we will see you in the next one.